you thanks jesus because there is none like you god there is none to compare of your glory your name is worthy to be praised god you are the great of the greatest father you are daniel god i worship your name i shall back your name jesus hallelujah to jesus i glorify your name god you are worthy to be praised father god from the rising of the sun until the going down the same your name is worthy to be praised mighty god hallelujah you are a keeper you are a light in the darkness when you speak you release my troubled mind father tonight i pray god that you will saturate this broadcast father i pray in the name of jesus christ as i lift my hand to thee no other help i know but you father i pray mighty god that you will clear the airway oh god i pray mighty god that you will saturate Lord God, this broadcast tonight, Father God, let flesh not be glorified in your sight, but mighty God, you will take all the glory tonight. Lord, you declared it in your word, God, that the prayer of a righteous man avail it much, God. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock which is higher than I. Mighty God, saturate everyone god that take the time out to come on this broadcast father i pray in the name of jesus christ that lord god you will command the atmosphere lord god under subjection father god your god almighty whatever arrow the enemy has sent to father god we destroy it and we command the atmosphere to come under your blood father god we command every spirit god every unwanted spirit father god to come under subjection to the higher power lord god almighty i pray today god that lord jesus christ you will release your angel Raphael mandu kuraba koshanda lord god to sit upon this broadcast i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god that the enemy is defeated lord god i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god scatter every fleshy spirit mighty god take all the glory because it belongs unto you father it is not i but the christ that liveth on the inside father god there's somebody god that needs a word tonight god there is somebody tonight needs a breakthrough there is somebody tonight needs god a miracle touch because lord god almighty you declared it in your word that the prayer of a righteous man avail it much god in every thing i do i ask for it in prayer and father god i ask your god that you will reshuffle this broadcast and you will put the enemy under subjection i pray in the name of jesus christ that you will bind every spirit of blockage marco shanda you will bind the spirit of blockage whatever prince that enemy has sent out to block the ear we are of prayer we demand it into ashes in the name of jesus christ i declare clearance in the east i declare clearance in the west i declare clearance in the north mighty god you said jesus in your word that the kingdom of god suffer violence and violence got to take it by force father in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray god that you will pour out your shekinah glory i pray now god that you will denounce every plans of the devil adversary i pray now that you will shoot down every weapon of master destruction mighty god take the glory take the glory 
fearing spirit. We bind up every fear of spirit. Lord, you said, God, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand and none shall not come nigh thy dwelling. But God Almighty tonight, we beseech you, Mama Shanda. We beseech you, Daniel God. We, dis we beseech you because you are the light in the darkness. You are the light at the tunnel gate. Mighty God, when you speak, Lord God, it release our troubled mm our troubled mind and father tonight God we are asking you Jesus to ride him God we may not know how we may not know when but God we believe that you will show that God you do the impossible things God we may not know how we may not know when but father we believe you at your word that Every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that you are Lord. Mighty God, we bind every snake spirit. Father God, every spirit of disappointment, every spirit of failure. Oh, glory to God. I stop by out of my busy, out of my busy schedule to tell somebody that God is not through with you as yet with you as yet it looks like everything gone wrong it looks as if hallelujah they have wrote you off but God he mold the clay he mold the clay he mold the clay hallelujah that's what I love about God. He mold the clay. He fashion the clay. So when the enemy, Marco Shanda, comes in like a flood, the spirit of the living God lift up a standard against the enemy. Somebody need to understand that even though they reject you, even though they cast you aside, God has not given up on you as yet mighty God of Daniel is the same God that called for Lazarus from the dead somebody needs to hear it hallelujah I had to pull over to let somebody hear this word tonight you may not know how you may not know when but I want you to understand that we serve a big God my that we serve a resurrection power hello bossiah it looks as if the enemy wins it looks as if everything shamanda yes holy spirit but god fashioned the clear him not throw it away he mold the clear he mold the clear ask god to mold you Jesus, you messed up. We come to talk to some backslider because I was just sitting and I was looking on how and where God brought me from. I said, God, mold the clay. Shake the Lord, oh, sire. God, mold the clay. You messed up. You messed up. Mighty God. I feel like I'm talking to somebody tonight. I'm getting out of your space. God mold the clay. And that's what God wants to do tonight. He wants to mold the clay. He wants to mold the clay. He wants to mold the clay. God wants to mold the clay. Can you allow God to do that tonight? Hallelujah. It is not my will, but let the will of the Lord be done. Praise God Almighty. God wants to mold the clay. Can you allow him to tonight? Yes, you messed up. Yes, you feel drawn in that situation that you thought. As if you would have won. 
that to serve God, you got to give up a lot of things. You see, if you want to serve God, you have to be willing to give up a lot of things. I'm going to talk to somebody We think as if they all the position in the kingdom of heaven or they sit on the throne of God. I say if you want to serve God, you have to give up a lot of things. If you want to walk according to the word of God, you have to give up a lot of things. You have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of things. If you really mean to serve God, if you really mean to walk with Jesus, be willing to give up a lot of things. Why backsliders find it hard to come in the kingdom of God? It's because their mind is not even fully made up, but they are not willing to let go of the world. They are not willing to let go of the things that attach them to sin. If you want to make it right with God, you have to be willing to walk alone. The songwriter said, I'm here alone from the lonesome valley. You have to be willing to step out of what you think is entertainment. And surrender it all to God. I know as children of the Most High God. I don't know why I came live. But I just had to be obedient. Because I was just doing what I do best. Work. You have to be willing to sacrifice. Things. That you think that you need. When God said no, you have to be willing to make baby steps before God. I want to share a testimony. I was wrestling with a particular thing. I know that I went on a journey. But within that journey and after that journey, the portal was still open. The portal was still open. And in order for me to close that portal, I have to be willing to give up some stuff. Sacrifice before God. Make some sacrifice before God. And I'm 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 really proud to share my share my testimony. For the past two years, I was wrestling with putting away false hair and nails. I have no problem with those who wear it. But let me tell you this. You have to be willing to give up some stuff to serve God. And let me tell you this. Last year, the Holy Spirit confronted me, confronted me. And I was like, God, what, what, what are you doing? Because I was saying, God, I can't go back to where I'm coming from. I said, I, I can't do it. But the more, I'm going to tell you something, that God is a transformer. I could never, I could, I could never, ever see myself without makeup without not wearing it I could have never seen myself without not wearing false nails I could have never seen myself without wearing here I had a struggle to go back and be obedient to the will of God wearing my natural hair my hair is very tall but I had to struggle with all of that And let me say this to say that you have to put aside some stuff if you want to serve 
God. You see, sometime, you see, sometime when we think that we are holding on to something that we think we need, when God wants to take us to another level. Let me say this tonight. When God confronted me last year, December, I was saying, God, what are you doing? I'm not going back to stop wearing false here. To stop doing all of that. I said, I'm not going back. I'm not doing it. But let me tell you this. I was still showing up at the hair salon. I was still showing up at the nail tech. Even when the Spirit of God confronted me. It's now because I'm giving my testimony. And I said, God, I can't afford to go back. This is not me. I want to remain this way. Let me tell you this. Jonah had to go back to it. He had to go to Nineveh. Whether he like it or not. Ha, huh, Mashanda. When Jonah was disobedient before the will of God, the Lord put him in the belly of the wheel. And sometimes God is talking to a lot of us, but we are disobedient. We think as if we are too high. And we think as if we are too mighty. Yes, tonight, because I need you to get And I was saying, God, I, I, I can't afford to go back to the level and the place where I'm coming from. But I want to tell somebody tonight that is not everything is good. It's good for you. Hmm. It's not everything that is good is good for you and i started to wrestle with god but i was still showing up at the year salon i was i was still doing me because i'm not going back there i'm i'm just not doing it but the belly of the whale mama mama baba, holy spirit the belly of the whale it started to get stink. It started to feel uncomfortable. Let me tell you this. The more I had, it's the more uncomfortable I felt. Somebody need. Somebody, I wish, I wish, I wish somebody could have understand what I'm talking about. The more I had, it was the more I I began to feel uncomfortable and I was still showing up I was still going to get my nails done to get my hair done but let me tell you this I am proud to declare that God is a redeemer <laughs> said God is a redeemer I said God is a redeemer and I remember a particular Monday was done let me tell you this I got home the following evening and the Holy Spirit came to me again I was like God I'm not going 
back. I hope I want somebody to sit down and listen. Because let me tell you this. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. Of God. When the Spirit of God confronted me. I got up and I went to the nail salon and I had to get rid of all that was added I went to do my hair I said conviction is a different thing Say God now go God now go really pay no mind to this. Let me tell you this. The same day I had that pause here. <laughs> hey sir. I wonder if somebody understand me I talk about. The same day. They have to come out. People are gonna let me tell you this. We can't too big for Jesus. You see, when I got home, if I had makeup, I have to give it away. Lord God, I want somebody to understand that you have to make some sacrifice to serve God. You see, if I had wigs, I had to give it away or I burnt it let me tell you this when God wants you a particular way I have no problem with who wants to wear it but you see let me tell you this I don't know about you I don't know for you but let me tell you this I'm talking about my testimony and what God had did to me it's not a shame to go back where you're coming from it is not a disgrace to go back where you're coming from but Jonah have to go to Nineveh whether he likes it or not in the in the space of being uncomfortable in the belly of the whale I learned one thing is it the hell or heaven when you serve God you can't care what nobody thinks. Man, which is the Father. For I am in the world, but not of the world. I am in the world, but I'm not of the world. I was like, God, I can't. Mr. God, me, Daniela. That's how I pronounce my name, but that's not how we pronounce. She are not. And will not go back. But whether I liked it or not, I had to. Whether I like it or not. I had to go back I had to go back so let me tell somebody this if you think that you hold a position in heaven if you are willing to walk with God you got to sacrifice a lot of things if you are willing to walk with God let me tell you this you have to sacrifice a lot of things.
A lot of things you got to put aside. A lot of things. Your friends may not like it. The people that are around you may not like it. But I'm not focused on what they are saying. I'm, I'm not even looking on what the devil is saying. I answer from the Father. I do the Father's will. Walk in holiness. Walk in the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit. But I am the way, the truth, and the light. Backslider, hear me now. Because a lot of preacher preach, but hear me now. See if God can redeem me, he can redeem anybody. If God can re redeem someone like me, anybody. Mm, Shia. God can do it for anybody. So I'm saying, if you want to serve God, make up your mind for put away boyfriend. And if that boyfriend wants to follow you, Turn away at church. The time is too short to waste it on the enemy. The time is too short to give it to the enemy. So let me reintroduce myself. It's not who I am. I belong to Jesus. So my sister, we are wrestle. We put aside the false here, the false nails. I can say that I approve God. It may sound simple. It may sound, but I must say I rebel before God. I say, God, I will you do. Okay? So you can't do that. I say, oh, you have to do that. I say, no, I not do it. And the more, the more, the more I think, the more I, I, I visit the nail tech, the more I, I walk in the ear salon to, to do an addition, is the more uncomfortable I feel in my spirit. I can't sleep. I couldn't sleep through, through the old process. I, I, I had to obey the word of the Lord. God knew the reason why he placed the thorn in Paul's flesh. And that was that that was exactly what it felt like. It felt as if thorn was in my flesh. So when you think that you, you can't do the will of the Lord, well think again. Well think again. Is your all at the altar of sacrifice? Let me tell you this. The more I showed up at church, I felt out of place. I mean, I said, God, this is this is not me. But I was being disobedient to the will of God until I came to a settlement. So listen, I can't it's no more enough. So Lord, I belong to you. He is a way maker. He's a mountain mover. When God speak, we don't want to hear nothing after. We don't want to hear nothing that will come to deter our spirit. We don't want to hear nothing like that. So hear me now. If you think that you can't serve God, let me tell you this man. You see the first, you see the first time. I know my Lord catch my hair up. But you see the first time when I actually plait my hair. I said, no, me I pull it out. I said, me say, no, God, me have it. God, me I go, me I go back to my old days. I said, no. But let me tell you this. You see, when God 
when God put in his appearance, when him say yes, you can't say no. And sometimes a lot of y'all, you see, God wants to put you at a higher level, but you're stuck in your ugly ways. And we're stuck in our ways that pleases us and others. But God wants to give us it a different way. A lot of times we're stuck holding on to the pond when God wants to give us an ocean. Let me say this to say that. Let me tell you this. You see, if God had tell you to do something and you refuse not to do it, well, go do it. Go and do it. Because I was a Jonah. I was a Jonah. And today I was there and somebody, somebody saw me. And she was like, you just look different. I said, it's the glory of God. No prophetess, I mean, you know, the nails and this and that. But she did not understand the journey. And when most persons cannot understand your journey, they will misinterpret the chapter. So guess what? Let me say this to you. If God say you figure do something, don't be hard headed to what God wants to do in your life. Me can't tell somebody about my own conviction. Me not, me not talk about nobody. If you want to wear ears and nails, ear and nails that are your business, but me talk about my conviction. Let me tell you this man. I cried like a baby. I said, God, why? But I could not, I was not at the place and I should not be even asking him why. Because what? It is his will. When you move out of the will of God, when you move out of the will, you move out of God, we and stop sticking your nose in God business. Hallelujah. Stop sticking your nose in God business. God knows what is best for you and the reason why god know what is best for you let me tell you this man if you are a gun man i believe a hundred percent that you can put away the gun you don't have to be in the crowd like your friends you don't have to be one of those person that with them above the interest and say this are my bad friend let me tell you this you can put aside the gun and surrender because i have seen men did that before and surrender themselves to God. I will not say to you that when you come to God, everything will happen fast. Like when you win the jackpot or when you win the lotto. But one thing I can assure you that you will receive eternal life if you walk according to his will. Preaching. You're, you're used to the fact that Hallelujah, the prophesying and the words. But people of God, let me tell you this. People are dying daily. Are dying daily. Most times we can hear the what God is doing for you. Let me tell you this. God has already promised us. The promises of God never increase or dec it never decrease, sorry, from of our life. When persons preach and prophesy unto us, it is just a reminder of what God has promised you. But you need to understand that, that there is a greater work ahead. Our souls need to be in tune with the word and with the will of God. I understand the fact that you dress and you look good. But if your lifestyle is not lined up with the will of God, I am sorry for you. But I will say it with no apology. Hell shall be your portion. If you didn't hear that message from the ear start, let me remind you that some of our souls are in trouble. Hallelujah. The reason why I can talk like this tonight, because my soul has been redeemed. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel, it is not my will, but the will of the Lord must be done. A lot of us, our souls are in trouble. But because we can go to church every Sunday and we can please the pastor. We can please the bishop. We can please the apostle to greet us because we just throw an $100,000 offering. Well, I am sorry. 
But I got to get my lifestyle. Hello, Sander. Light up with the will of God. I was a Jonah. I was running. Hallelujah. But let me tell you this. We have been promised a lot of stuff from God. But we cannot give an access to the key. Unless we start walking according to his will. I'm sorry but I'm not apologizing for this one. You will not give an access to the key unless you come to his level. Come to the level where God wants you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You cannot be a microwave Christian when we serve a big God. Hallelujah. If you're a sinner on the line, let me tell you this. My God keeps. He is safe and he satisfy. Anything you ask God for, he will grant it unto you. But your lifestyle got to come in alignment with God's will. I can promise you. God can promise you a lot of stuff. But guess what? You got to be cleansed. You got to be redeemed. You got to be saved. You got to be sanctified. With the blood of Jesus Christ. You got to come up to his will. Not your will. Not your mother's will. Not your father's will. And I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk to some, to some, to some, to some Christians that only go to church to warm the bench. Here's what. Hallelujah. God is about to come and you're still warming the bench. God is about to show up and you're still warming that bench. And I'm here to talk to some people that blame the pastors the sisters for, for your mistakes. Come on now. Own up to some. Own up to some. God. Empty me. From every sin and unrighteousness. Mold me as the clay. Own up to some. Because you were given a choice. When they spoke bad about you. You were given a choice. Are you in or you're still out? When they rose up against you. This is what you didn't understand. You were given a choice. Either you backslide. Or you're still with, you're still with God. To the good book that say. I abide. In you, if you abide with me, when they spoke lies about you, you were given a choice. You were given a choice. It is not if, it is not maybe, but I choose to serve God. I choose to live this. Come on, silver and gold have I none. But such I have give I thee. You have a choice. Work with it. You have a choice. Live for God. Live holy. Live according to his word. Not, 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 what, not what people say. According to his word. Heaven and earth shall pass away. If one of God's words should. So people of God. These are my words to you. If you are lukewarm Christian. Get hot. If you don't find your purpose. Find it. If you don't find your desire. If you serve God. Find it. Because let me tell you this. It is coming to a perilous time. Let me tell you this. The wheat and the tear of a growth until the day of harvest. So whether you're ready or not, my God will come. Whether you're, whether you're ready to see the wrath of God, whether you're ready to see heaven, 
Whether you're ready to receive hell, God has come. Whether you're ready or not. Whether you whether you think, whether you think you're ready, or if you think you're ready, or you feel you're ready, God has come. Hallelujah. He must come. So, let me tell you this. Be at peace with your enemies. Forgive if you can and move forward. Because let me tell you this. Time wait on no man. When the time of God should appear, you know, wait for no man. You know, wait for no man. God no need to ask you when he should step in or whether he should step out. When God show up, who can tell him to step out of that room? Come on. Get your house in order. Fix it up. Let me tell you this. Sweep out the spirit of favoritism out of these assemblies. You know, it's not apostolics alone. It's not Baptists alone. It's not Adventists alone. It's not Church of God alone. It's not revival alone. And the other churches. Get out the spirit of favoritism. And let the spirit of God run things. Let me tell you this qualification can't run church or God run church. Because God don't call the qualify, he qualifies the call. Get out the spirit of favoritism because it can't run the house of God. It cannot the house of God. For God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit. And in truth. So whether you like it or not. God is coming back for a prepared people. I mean, I see a lot of a, a lot of persons will not like this, but that's that's fine. Whether you're ready or not, God is coming back for a prepared people. So get your house in order and fix it up. So if you think that you're too tall, God will bring you right back down. And I can testify to that. Hallelujah. The songwriter said, I don't want to act too high and mighty. Because tomorrow I can fall down on my face. So don't think that you're better than the brother. Do not think that you're better than the sister. It doesn't go like that. Hear me. If you see the brother fall, it is not. It is not. Your place to even cut that brother down. Hey, Lobo Shanda. Father, I don't know where you're taking me, but I'm going to trust you for this one. It is not your place to bring him down. Because you have some little sins that you can't see. And you can't even realize or reconcile about. Go to God and say, God, whatever it is, I ask you to forgive this man of God lift him up again father I pray in the name of Jesus Christ lift up the sister Lord blot out their transgression and wash them thoroughly from their sins come on man it is time to be that brother and that sister keeper block the trap of the enemy block the adversary and the loophole that the devil is looking to come through I'm talking to you. If you want to make it, if you want to make it in, there is some things that you got to do. There is some sacrifice that you got to make. There are some things that you got to put aside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to avail yourself that God can use you. You got to avail yourself that God can trust you with his anointing. You got to avail yourself that God can use you for his glory. Praise God. You have to avail yourself. Get rid of the spirit of gossiping. When somebody comes to you in your hearing. To speak about another person. Move or change the conversation. You have to be wise as a serpent. And harmless like a dove. I am not that person. Hallelujah. You got to get it. And you have to get it right. People of God, we may not know the second, the minute, 
the hour when God should put in as a, his appearance. So you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. Cinnamon, let me tell you this sin sweet. Because when it when it when it make when it when think when sin have it things to entice you, the only thing you want to do is continue to eat. So continue to eat, continue to eat, continue to eat, continue to eat. But let me tell you this. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it without no apology. Let me tell you this. You see if your life not line up with the will of God. And if you are not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost and walking in his will, hell shall be a portion, whether you like it or not. And it's just the truth. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Going to church doesn't say that you reach heaven. Going to church doesn't say that you have arrived. And you have given the gates and the keys to heaven and to enter the throne room. Let me tell you this, man. Come on. Church is a temple. The people are the church. Two can't walk unless they are agree. Agreeing in the spirit. So let me tell you this. Fix it up. Fix it up. And a lot of you before this year started because the, the real mission starts on Sunday. A lot of you promised God a lot of stuff. And you say, God, may I go serve you for the new year. You got my mind make up to serve you. But you see, when the year start and blessings start to, to give forth, a lot of you forget the vows. But don't make them vows that enter before the year done. And when you think things are going, when you see things are going wrong, it's not the person fault and nobody will obey you. Cut, cut out of the spirit there. It's your vows that you have not yet fulfilled. It's the vows that you have not yet fulfilled. So check your post office. Check your mailbox and say, see the mail them where you send to God? Yes. Check them vows there and then you can start from there. I leave you in perfect peace and only in Jesus name I leave you. So you see if you need to pull up your socks, pull up your socks. See, so you see if you are messing around with the church, brother, and you know, so you, you know in the right, Come out of that. Come out of that. Come out of that. Brother, you see if you mess around with the church, sister, you know in the right, get yourself back in the, in the throne of grace. Get yourself back in tune with God. Let me tell you this. God condemn no man because we are not perfect. We are not perfect. This is what you need to understand when you fall. Do not stay down there. Get up and move forward. Brush yourself off. Move forward. Lord, I give you thanks for every word that is said and done. I just want to thank you for everything that you have done for your people. Lord, I just want to honor your name. I just want to glorify your name. Father, continue to cover your people under your supernatural blood. Father, I leave them in perfect peace. In your name I pray. Amen. Y'all stay blessed. St. Mary, see you on Sunday night. Come with your bucket up. Come with your bucket turned up, turned up on Sunday night in St. Mary. We will be live. Facebook, we will be live. Um, TikTok, I will not be live on YouTube because I don't want to get in trouble with them. So, I will be live stream. So, you see, if you're there in St. Mary, you see, if you're there in a find a way of St. Mary. The, I will be posting the this flyer again. I will be in downtown Kingston on the 21st, sorry, the 24th, sorry. I will be in downtown Kingston at the first market house. We're going to be having a grand revival service. So come with your bucket turned up. It starts at 6 p.m. So I will be in St. Mary on the, on the 12th of this month, which is Sunday. So see y'all, see y'all there. So come and be blessed. Come and expect a blessing. Come and expect God moving. Come and expect. Yes, if you want deliverance, come. If you want God, come. If anything you need, just come. Hallelujah. God will be in the house. I will be posting the information. So Anne Anderson, you can go there and um and, and look because I don't know. I don't know. But I will be posting the flyer so you can look at the location and you will see where you should come also bear in mind i will be 
in Falmouth. I will be in Falmouth on the 18th of this month. So I will be in St. Mary on the 12th. I will be in Falmouth. Falmouth at on the 18th. I will be in downtown Kingston on the 20th. I will be in Spanish Town on the 14th. So people of God, I will continue posting the flyer so y'all can see and be and save the dates where I will be. So y'all stay blessed, stay blessed, stay blessed. Y'all in my prayers. For those who want to reach out to me because persons are, persons are texting me about the WhatsApp. I close the WhatsApp down and I will not put it up until God permits me to do so it's because i'm actually um i'm in i'm in some fasting and i'm in some prayer so bear with me because most people come on this whatsapp to read up and i'm gonna have I many no reader woman i'm just a servant of the living god i'm just straight plain and just that's it so i'll be in falmouth on the 18th i will be in spanish town on the 14th i will be in downtown kingston on the 24th and i will be in saint mary on the 12th so you all stay blessed be blessed and i'll see you soon bye bye